Hello, I am Arpit Agrath and today I am here to show you my simulation project of which I got the topic of role of coupling capacitors in multi-state C case study. So let's start. So first of all, what are the uses of capacitors in circuit? So in circuit, capacitors are used for a wide range of applications including storing electrical charges, blocking DC components, bypassing AC components, filtering unwanted signals and many more. Now coupling capacitor. So basically coupling capacitor means uh, using more than two capacitors in a circuit. So coupling capacitor are used in electronic circuit to pass the desired AC signal and block unwanted DC components. These unwanted DC signals come from electronic devices or preceding stage of an electronic circuit. So now, role of different type of capacitors. So first type is the input capacitors, C in. So the input capacitor C in present at the initial stage of an amplifier couples AC signal to the base of the transistor. This capacitor C in, if not present, the signal source will be parallel to the resistor R2 and bias voltage of the transistor base will be changed. So, let me show you my multi-sim circuit. This is the multi-sim circuit of uh, the multi-stage C amplifier. So, multi-stage means uh, using more than two or more than two transistors in a single circuit. So here this one is the C in means input capacitor. Okay now the next one is the emitter bypass capacitor C E. The emitter bypass capacitor is connected in parallel to the emitter resistor. It offers a low resistance path to the amplified signal. In absence of this capacitor, the voltage development across RE will feedback to input side thereby reducing the output voltage. Thus, in presence of C, the amplified AC will pass through this. So, in my circuit, there are two C. First one is here and second one is here, both for different transistors. Okay, now let's move to the coupling capacitors. The capacitor CC is the coupling capacitor that connects two stages and prevents DC interface between the stage and controls the operating point from shifting. In absence of this capacitor, RC will come in parallel with the resistance R1 of biasing network to the next stage and thereby changing the biasing condition of the next stage. So, here, I have also taken two coupling capacitors. First one is here, CC1, and second one is here, CC2. So, these both are the coupling capacitors. Now, let's move to the next topic. So, now let's move to the next topic, which is effect of capacitive reactance in voltage gain at different frequency levels. So first of all we know that that capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to the frequency. So first is at low frequency that is below or equal to 50 hertz of AC signal. At low frequency the reactance is quite high. The reactance of input capacitor and the coupling capacitor are so high that only small part of the input signal is allowed. Hence the voltage gain is low. Actually, the voltage gain is low or equal to zero. Now, at high frequency, which is above or equal, uh, which is about twenty kilohertz. So, again, considering the same point, we know that the capacitive reactance is low at high frequency. So, a capacitor behaves as a short circuit at high frequencies. As a result of this, the loading effect of the next stage increases which reduces the voltage gain. Means uh, similarly as a uh, low frequency, uh, there is a same scenario in high frequency. Now at mid frequencies means between 50 Hz to 20 kHz. So 
the voltage gain of the capacitor is maintained constant in this range of uh, frequencies if the frequency increases the reactance of the capacitor decreases which tends to increase the gain but this lower capacitive reactance increases the loading effect of the next stage by which there is a reduction in gain due to these two factor the gain is maintained constant so now let's see the gain in uh, this mid range frequency in uh, multi sim circuit so first of all uh, we take multimeter and put it here now run the circuit see the volt i got is 1.48 times which is equal to 1.5 so let's stop it and increase the resistance to 1000 kilo ohm now let's see run it so we are getting nearly 12 volt so there is a voltage gain of uh, 10.5 volt so we can see the voltage gain now what is about current gain so current gain is very low or maybe equal to zero in this circuit so let's try it let it take uh, one kilo ohm now ampere and run the circuit so the current we are getting is uh, 1.503 means 1.5 milliampere okay now let's stop it and increase the resistance and we can make it 1000 kilo ohm so now if we run it see there is a same voltage sorry same current 1.504 milliampere so by this result we can say that there is no current gain in this by increasing uh, resistance so as we can see here this is the whole circuit at which i have taken the vcc of 12 volt and uh, i have taken the r3 r4 r5 r6 and uh, there are totally eight resistors and five capacitors two transistors one ac source and one dc source so these are the components of my circuit and this is the circuit of multisim so now thank you this was all about the role of coupling capacitors in the multi state c case